Okay, guys, welcome back to Summon and War Chronicle. Today, let's talk about Magic Archer, guys. Which one should you get? I have to say, this is the best banner for everyone. Okay, they have like good thing for PvP, PvE, and I believe they are all really, really strong. However, because uh, I don't have her in Korea, um. I still don't know about the damage. I think it's really strong. Okay, all of them do weak point and weak point. You know, it's trigger when you uh, you have higher precise than target evade. Okay, so basically the way to build all of them is attack, crisp, uh, attack speed, more precise. Okay. That's all you need because you can you cannot crit right and the damage amplified by precise so basically you don't need crit rate so and then you just build precise just just similar to crit rate crit damage right but you don't build crit rate crit damage your crit damage will be precise that to, in the nutshell to make it simple just put her attack and a lot of precise okay you don't miss and you hit like a truck all right they are really really strong i check okay let's go first one normal attack do weak point weak point do more damage only 25 percent chance and you drain damage for 35 percent make her more sustained you don't need vampire basically build in vampire rune in your hero second ability three hit remove one beneficial effect i love remove beneficial effect removal i'm this one is really good okay it's for you know turtle boss you might need this if you like you want to do like maximum damage otherwise good for pvp as well pve they are good depend on where you use it okay second ability um do 617 with weak point you block harmful effect good for turtle boss when uh use attack with weak point block beneficial for 16 block harmful effect removal block harmful effect removal <laughs> don't know what this do all right but block beneficial is good block harmful effect removal oh so basically if you have this you cannot cleanse right oh my gosh this is really strong you cannot be cleansed ah oh. but if you put immunity right Oh, you have block beneficial as well. Oh my god, she's strong and you get speed up too. Whew, I like it. All right, ultimate ability 1411, block harmful effect removal, block beneficial, attack speed up 4. 4? Wait, level 4? 1, 2, 3, 4, 50% increase. Wow, nice. I, li I like her already. All right, I keep her like 4.9 or 5. All right, next. This is the, the best of all, guys. For RBG, it's the blue one. Uh, let me say it's right here, right now. All right. So attack, weak point again. But when you weak point, you drain, you get block harmful effect removal. So basically, you know, you cannot remove your dot. You are, you are defend down and stuff. All right. So what she get on the second ability, okay? So second ability, right? Three mana. Uh, level 2, recover, receive down and do some damage. To be honest, second ability not good, but but if you put passive in, you apply uh, recover, receive down, and then you will replace recover, receive down with undead. Okay? So basically, she just put undead on it. It's not <laughs> recover, receive down, man. So you have undead. What does undead do, right? Undead is basically this one okay um when you are you know uh oh, they miss her the, the blue one should be here okay so basically if your enemy heal the damage convert to 20 percent so basically if you heal for 10k you will get damage of 2000 so that's in a nutshell make it simple you heal you get damage really strong all right and then if the target have oblivion uh recover receive now so basically you can spam this one okay you spam oblivion right and then it will trigger 
this one as well because the enemy have oblivion but but the thing is you need to land oblivion first all right which is really really strong in my opinion this one is five out of five man okay next is um ultimate ability 1411 oblivion 20 second level 5 defend down attack speed up 20 second wow nice all right this is like I, I want all of them actually okay I want this too okay next is uh same thing first ability weak point you drain HP next ability defend down and do some damage good all right third ability weak point block beneficial and drain HP block beneficial right um, I've applied unrevivable as a passive when magical knight attack while having brain so if you weak point on this you get drain so basically if you build like high precise you probably get this all the time right so you have built in vampire you block the beneficial and the monster uh the pvp monster cannot be revived wow they are really good guys i have to say they are good i i give them five on all of them actually but this is 5.1 okay what do you guys think five five and five wow yeah i agree all of them are good but the blue one is the best in my opinion because oblivion will you know work every time with when if you want to kill someone else. All right and all this nasty passive you know next is the right one Chris oh, I love her name already and she really powerful guys okay for light one attack same thing you weak point you drain next second ability you do three hit same thing weak point you have three chance to remove beneficial effect at 67 percent chance and you put poison in poison kind of meh in my opinion <laughs> all right but remove is good though. let's say talk about the good part actually it's good more damage okay so poison damage based on is max hp Ooh, max hp wow actually it's really good <laughs> all right third ability so when you use this ability you gain immunity right 11 second so what does that mean mana cost is three every three uh three seconds you get one mana so that's three times three is nine so basically you have if you put her in soul link you will have permanent uptime of immunity which is really strong okay and then what to do apply undead to the target certain chain wow magical archer attack while have immunity so basically you have immunity all the time right and then you get undead so basically monster cannot be healed it's the same thing as this one then but it's got removal she is really good as well guys but hmm, i don't know you need to build her like tanky otherwise it's gonna be focused and die right next is uh ultimate ability 1411 same damage on all of them get immunity 20 seconds nothing special on this one except she have permanent uptime of immunity already right so she kind of all right not like not the best in my opinion i might be wrong though but but she's still really good okay next is the dark one the dark one is super crazy guys so basically you have only 15 chance after you have 25 right but however when you attack this it will trigger four things you drain health hp you if target have blind yeah they have you have oblivion with 70 percent chance if target have oblivion you get silent if target have silent they get blind so basically if you get blind basic attack does not land <laughs> so she are she's really good but 15 percent is kind of unreliable uh, i say let's see the second ability silent and defend down silence if you get silent they get blind all right if they get blind they will get oblivion okay let's see what second ability 
silent on this one and blind and attack speed up so silent blind you get oblivion right blind you get oblivion so basically this one with quicker oblivion as well i i have to say guys the red blue and green are better than this two because this one have too much condition and only 15 percent chance it's really low this one have immunity and undead or oh, this one doesn't have it but i think the white one is really good for debuffer team all right it's only cost three mana as well so basically yeah like i said it, it, it can be steal and remove right but i say all this is five the blue one is the must get okay the must have i mean must have and the red and green are like this one is unique as well because unrevivable there's not much people have it except the light you know uh, mystic witch but the damage is too low okay but this one is really good you cannot be rewired so they, they're good if you use them in the right place okay yeah and light and dark i have to say this is maybe the first time that i have to say that red blue green is more interesting except the light one light one is unique okay this one is unique as well but too much condition and the condition are hard to to meet okay so basically you cast this you only have 15 percent chance all right but it will land naturally you need 10 attack so you have to build her a lot of attack speed okay might be op or not so good at all we have to this is like mermaid thing love it or hate it all right all right guys anyway i will do a summon on the next video and i will pull in my order blue red and green okay but guys dragon knight is coming soon so make sure right that you have ticket for dragon knight because they are really powerful anyway guys that's it for me and i will see you guys next time bye bye guys